Electric scooters are booming right now. It's tough to spend a few hours in downtown Raleigh and not see when someone just zip by on one. That is so true, but they aren't without danger. Since July, Wake County EMS says it's responded to more than 20 scooter related incidents, one of them over the weekend involving someone under 18. Now, safety isn't the only concern. Many of you are asking who pays if you get into an accident. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprecia scoots on over to the CBS 17 answer desk to tell us what we need to know. Steve. Marius and Angela, if you are a pedestrian and you're walking down the street and you're struck by an automobile, the state insurance department tells me that auto insurance will cover you so long as you've selected the medical option. But if you're struck by one of these, either walking or you're on one of these devices and you strike somebody else, insurance isn't going to cover you because right now, under state law, these are undefined vehicles. Cruising around at a top speed of 15 miles an hour, folks find these electric scooters a great convenience. I was just trying to get across downtown pretty quick and uh, went to go hop on it. For others, the electric scooter is a regular part of their routine now. I use the bird scooters multiple times throughout the day. Why? Um, because it's a convenient and fun way to travel throughout the city. But there's a dark side to electric scooter use. You need to be concerned about liability. Before you rent one of these scooters, you want to read the rental agreement. If you look at it, it says quite clearly on it that your automobile insurance policy may not provide coverage for accidents. What do you know about, like, keeping yourself insured on them? Not a thing. What do you know about, like, for example, the insurance? Um, I'm really not sure. I learned there's no insurance policy which will cover you on an electric scooter unless you have a specific rider known as an umbrella policy. When you exceed the liability limits of your auto policy or your homeowner policy, then your umbrella policy would then cover. And Dr. Osborne says that most people don't have umbrella policies. Because the electric scooter is not classified as a moped, bike, motorcycle, or vehicle, there are no laws in this state which cover them. Is this something the state should consider regulating, or is it less, better left to the local municipalities? You know, that is a question for the legislators to answer, but I would say that someone needs to make for sure that they have uh, some kind of regulation. And right now, the city of Raleigh is working on regulating these scooters. We don't know what those regulations will end up being. We do know that San Francisco right now is the only city in the country which requires insurance if you're going to be riding one of these electric scooters. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News. Steve, thanks for the insight. Cities across North Carolina and the country, for that matter, are working to keep up with the fast-growing trend. But as they do, Bird may have found a loophole. The company plans to offer a delivery service service that drops a scooter off at your house. It's launching in several cities, though we don't know which ones yet. Bird says its number of scooters shouldn't be capped and that they should be able to rent out as many as people want.